This is the Lion Workout. I'm Mark Perry, your trainer and coach. For the next 30 minutes, I'm here to help guide you, support you, and push you to give your best effort. You'll be getting strength, cardio, and fat burning benefits in this full body strength circuits workout. We're gonna get started with a warm up to prime your body and mind to maximize your results. The first exercise is knee hugs. Step your left leg out, pull that right knee into your chest in just three, two, one, let's get started. So step that left leg out, pull that right knee into your chest. You can also go onto the ball of your left foot to increase the stretch and pull that knee even higher up towards your chest. Stand tall, shoulders back, chest out, head up. Make this smooth, keep your balance. That's a really important part of this exercise is to actually keep your balance. In five seconds, we're gonna be switching to the other side. Um, and we're going to switch to your left leg. So now step out with your right leg, pull that left knee into your chest. We're mobilizing the glutes and hamstrings, increasing your hip range of motion, and warming up the muscles on the front of the hip of the standing leg here. Again, we're just kind of warming up, getting the body going, getting the blood flowing. And we've got 10 more seconds, so get some more reps here. And then we're gonna be switching over in five seconds to leg kicks. All right, let's get started with leg kicks. We're gonna step out with your left leg and kick with your right leg, keeping it relatively straight. Don't try to kick too hard, just relax, be smooth. Um, you can also use your opposite hand uh, as like a target. So if you're kicking with that right leg, you can use your left hand and try to kick it. And then over time, kick higher and higher. In five seconds, we're gonna be switching over to the left leg. So a couple more seconds. Now let's start stepping out with that right leg and kick the left leg. Uh, if you flex your toe, by the way, towards your shins, you can get an even greater stretch here uh, on both your hamstrings and your calves. Again, we're mobilizing your hamstrings and calves, activating your core, activating your nervous system to get ready for the workout. We've got 10 more seconds before we move on to the next warm up. So let's get a few more reps here. And then we're gonna dive into spider stretch with rotation. So you're gonna be uh, in a push-up position. You're gonna step out with your right leg, getting as close as you can to your hand. You're gonna twist open toward the sky, twist back down to the ground, and then step back. Uh, if you're unable to bring your foot all the way up, that's okay. Just go as far as you can over time. You're going to really be able to uh, get all the way up to the hand. Um, breathe slowly, breathe deeply. You're not in a rush with this exercise. It's the opposite. We're opening up the entire body. We are literally stretching your shoulders, your T-spine, your chest, your neck, your hips, your hamstrings. Every muscle in your body is being activated and mobilized with this one exercise. So focus and breathe deeply and let your body open. Let the body open so we can get more limber for the workout, okay? We've just got about, uh, about five seconds left and we're gonna dive into the bird dog. So finish your rep. And now get onto your hands and knees with your arms positioned under your shoulders and your knees positioned under your hips. We're extending one arm and then the opposite leg. And what I want you to think about here is keeping that back leg straight squeezing the glute of the back leg and pointing the toe down toward the ground. You're also keeping the arm straight as you're extending it. And what I really want you to think about also is, uh, the, is the core activation. So you're activating the core between, your the, between the arm that's on the ground, so let's just say it's your right arm, and then, and then opposite knee. So it's like a cross pattern. There's a core activation exercise. We're keeping the low back flat and hips neutral. Your head isn't moving. We've got five more seconds and you're gonna stand up and do some jumping jacks. All right, get on your feet. Let's start jumping. We're jumping your feet out wide as you raise your arms overhead. And then we're jumping the feet back together while you bring your arms back down to your sides. And you're being light on your feet here. You're being fluid and smooth. You're building up the athleticism. You're getting the blood flowing, warming up the legs and arms, stimulating the muscles in the sides of your hips. You're increasing your heart rate 
so you can mentally and physically prepare to make the most of this workout. Okay, so I really want you to start visualizing the workout you're about to do, the uh, strength circuits, the effort you're going to put, put in, how this is going to be helping your body, improving your health, right? We're getting better today. That's what this is all about, is improving you. And let's get a, a few more reps in here. We've got 10 seconds left. And then we're going to be done with the warm-up. Just about five more seconds. Get a couple more reps in here. And then we are done with the warm-up. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the workout summary. We're doing the following five exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three rounds, resting one minute in between each round. We're going to do walking lunges, then dumbbell chest press, then pull-ups, plank DB drag, and speed skaters. After the strength circuit, we're going to do a finisher of push-ups of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for three rounds. And um, again, the pull-ups are going to be really tough this workout because they're right in the middle of the workout and you can always do a negative or do dumbbell rows instead. Again, this is the lion workout. We're apex predator. We're building the heart and strength of a lion with this workout. We're getting started with walking lunges. Start standing with your feet hip width apart, holding a pair of dumbbells at your sides. Step forward with your right leg while dropping your hips to lower into your lunge. And you're gonna press strongly through your legs to a standing position and then step forward with the left leg and repeat. All right, let's get started right now. So keep on stepping forward. If you're stepping forward, you're lunging down. You're stepping forward, you're lunging down. And if you don't have a, a, a lot of space, you can just do forward lunges here, no problem. Keep on going. Let's go for it. Focus, shoulders back, head up. Let's get that knee, that back knee close to the ground here. Three, two, one, well done. We've got the dumbbell chest press next. If you don't have um, a bench, you can always just do push-ups or floor presses. You're gonna start by sitting on a flat bench, holding a pair of dumbbells on your thighs, lie back, pressing the dumbbells toward the ceiling, arms extended straight. Once in the starting position, your hands and arms should be positioned slightly below your shoulders. With control, you're gonna pull the dumbbells down towards your chest and then strongly push them back up to starting position. In three, two, one. Let's get after it. Nice and strong here. Come on. Bring them down nice and slow and then push up forcefully. I want you using a nice amount of weight here. Let's get in a rhythm. Come on. Push them out. Let's get 12 reps total. Halfway there. 10 seconds. You can do this. Five, three, two, one. All right, pull-ups are coming up. You're gonna grasp the bar with an overhand grip, slightly wider than the shoulder width apart, arms fully extended. Your shoulders should be locked away from your ears. You're gonna lift your body up, squeeze your shoulder blades together while keeping uh, your shoulders locked down. And then you're gonna pull your body up until your chin is over the bar and then slowly straighten your arms as you lower down to the starting position. And again, I mean, this is tough. Right in the middle of the round, just do your best. Do some negatives if you have to. Get as many as you can in three, two, one. Get as many reps as you can here. Do your best. That's all I care about, just doing your best. If you have to do some negatives, that's fine. Slow down your breathing and just do it. Come on. Whew. Come on. Breathe out forcefully as you pull yourself up. Breathe out forcefully as you pull yourself up. 15 seconds left. If you're doing negatives, that's fine. If you're doing dumbbell rows, that's okay too. Keep on going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You're doing great. We're almost done with the first round. We've got the plank DB drag next. And you're going to start in a high plank position with your arms fully extended underneath your shoulders and feet shoulder width apart. Your dumbbell should be positioned just outside your left hand. You're going to squeeze your abs and glutes to keep your hips neutral as you reach your right arm underneath you to grab the dumbbell that's on your left side. You're going to drag the dumbbell to the outside of your right shoulder and repeat. Three, two, one. Let's go. High plank position. Keep those hips neutral and let's start pulling that dumbbell right across our body. Nice and strong. Come on. Pull it right across. Perfect. Come on. Let's be strong here. Let's do this with authority. 
Let's dominate this exercise. Come on. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those glutes. Keep those legs straight if you can. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Last one is the speed skaters. And one of the most athletic or one of the more athletic exercises you can do, we're building lateral strength and stability. You're going to start an athletic stance. Knees slightly bent and chest up. Standing on your right foot, you're going to cross your left foot behind you and then laterally hop onto your left leg. Your right leg will naturally cross behind your left. Keep your balance as you use your arms and drive off your uh, left leg to laterally hop back onto your right. And we're going to get started in just one second. Let's go. We're hopping from side to side here. Perfect. As you hop, that, that leg that's, uh, that's trailing is going to drop right behind the active leg. Keep on going. Let's go one side to the other. Come on. We're building endurance. We're building your leg strength. We're getting stronger here. You can do this. Keep it up. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Well done. Round one is in the record books. I mean, this isn't an easy workout, but it is named after a lion, which is the apex predator. So we got to raise our standards and get better. Again, this is a nice combination of cardiovascular challenge and also strength as well. Um, and so just do your best and focus, walk around, grab some water in just about 30 seconds. We're starting it all over again. You can do this. You can do this. Walking lunges are getting started in just 20 seconds. And you're going to start with your feet hip width apart, holding a pair of dumbbells at your sides. You're going to step forward, drop your hips down, and then come back up. Keeping that chest tall, your abs tight. Grab those dumbbells. We're building leg strength. We're building balance and athleticism. We're building a more functionally strong body in just one second. Let's get started. Okay, step forward and drop those hips and keep on going. If you don't have enough space, you're doing forward lunges here. No problem. Keep on going. Let's get a rhythm here. Let's stay upright, head upright. Let's go for it. Shoulders back, away from your ears. 10 more seconds. Let's go for it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, slow down your breathing. <sighs> slow down your breathing. We're gonna get ready for the dumbbell chest press. What I, what I mean by slow down your breathing is it's gonna help you get the most out of the next exercise so you're not too winded. 15 seconds of starting the dumbbell chest press. You're gonna start by sitting on the flat bench, holding a pair of dumbbells on your thighs. You're gonna lie back, pressing the dumbbells toward the ceiling. Then we're just gonna drop down and press them up again in three, two, one, let's go for 10 to 12 reps here. Press them out nice and strong. Bring them slowly back down and press them out. Bring them slowly back down and press them out. You can do this. Let's get a rhythm here. Avoid bouncing the weight at the bottom. Come on, come on, control it. Your elbows are at 45 degree angles away from your torso. You're not flaring your elbows here. Pull the dumbbells into your body and then forcefully exhale. Two, one. I hope you got your 10, 12 reps. Up next are pull-ups. And again, right in the middle of the circuit, these are not easy, but you're just gonna give it your best shot and get as many reps as you can. Ideally over 10. If you're not quite there yet, you're gonna get as many as you can and then start doing negatives. If you're still not there yet, you're gonna be doing dumbbell rows, right? Okay. We're getting started very soon. Let's focus and give it your best shot in three, two, one. Hop up and let's go for it. Nice and strong here. We're building your back strength and your back muscles. Building your shoulders, your biceps. Come on. You can do this. Let's get more reps. If you have to start doing some negatives, I'm okay with that. Start doing some negatives. Just give it your best shot for the full 30 seconds. We've got five more seconds left. Come on. Three, two, one. Well done. We've got the plank DB drag next. 
Let's keep up the momentum. And this next exercise is an anti-rotation exercise. We're building serious core strength here. We're also uh, developing your shoulders and even your chest a little bit as well. Uh, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. So let's get in a high plank position, get that dumbbell set up so it's next to your left hand, right underneath it. And we're getting started in just two, one. Let's go for it. Let's drag it right across your body to the other side. And I really want you to keep your torso straight here. That's the whole point. Keep on going. I hope you're using a heavy enough dumbbell here. Let's go, it shouldn't be easy. Keep those hips stable. They shouldn't be moving all over the place. 10 more seconds, come on. Let's get some more reps here. You got a few more reps here. Let's get three more reps. Three, two, one. Well done, we've got the last exercise of speed skaters. And let's bring this uh, round home and really push it. So I want you jumping as far as you can laterally from side to side. This is an absolutely critical exercise you must do to stay healthy. Let's go for it. Three, two, one, and you're doing jumping jacks if you don't want to do this one, if you can't do it. Come on, let's go for it. Nice and strong. Perfect. Let's jump further. Come on. You can jump further than that and harder than that. Come on. Let's go. Get off the ground and jump. Jump further. Perfect. Keep on going. Nice and strong. Keep on going. Three, two, one. Well done. Catch your breath and relax. We've got the last round next. You can do this. So walk around, catch your breath, grab some water, no sitting. We're starting with walking lunges. Let's keep up the momentum here. Let's start visualizing the exercises. We've got walking lunges. We've got the DB chest press. We've got the pull-ups. We've got the plank DB drag, and then we've got speed skaters. Come on, let's focus, let's keep it up, and let's bring it home. 10 seconds, we're starting with walking lunges. Grab those dumbbells. Let's get a heavy enough pair to challenge you. And we're going to step forward and drop your hips in three, two, one. Come on, let's make this the best round yet. Round number three, let's go for it. Drop those hips and move forward. Come on. Drop hips and move forward. Step, drop your hips. Keep that torso upright, shoulders back. Remember to breathe here, head up. Five more seconds, come on, you can do this. Three, two, one, walking lunges are done. Next up is the dumbbell chest press. Again, if you don't have the bench, you're just doing the push-ups of the floor press. Um, either way, we are really taxing and pushing your chest muscles, your shoulders, your triceps, and of course your core is involved in every exercise, right? Of course it is. So we're going to, Really think about engaging our core as we press, which is gonna protect your shoulders, by the way. So in just five seconds, let's get started. In three, two, one, let's lie back and start pressing. Now engage your core and press the weight up. We need 10 reps here minimum, 12 reps ideally. Let's see if you can do it. Nice and strong. Keep it up. You shouldn't have many any more reps in the tank when you're done, by the way. If you do, you have to use more weight next workout. 15 seconds. Come on, let's get some more reps here. 10 seconds. Keep on pressing nice and strong. Keeping that core tight. Three, two, one. Well done. Dumbbell chest press is done. Next up, we've got pull-ups again. These are challenging. It's the third set in the middle of a circuit. Not easy, but you're just gonna do your best. You're gonna grasp the bar with an overhand grip, slightly wide and shoulder width apart, and you're gonna pull up and do your best. Again, if you've got nothing left in the tank, you're gonna do negatives, 
or you can do dumbbell rows. In just five seconds, we're getting started. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's get after it. Pull up all the way you, as far as you can. Ideally, you're touching the top of your chest, and we're getting 10 reps if you can. More than 10 reps. Come on. You can do this. Do negatives if you can't get any more reps. Do negatives. Come on. Keep on going for the full 30 seconds. I don't care where you're at. Just keep on going. Three, two, one. Well done. You've got the heart of a lion, my friends. And you're going to finish strong. Plank, DB, drag up next. Make sure you have a heavy enough dumbbell to really challenge yourself. And we are going to build your core strength. Build those shoulders and those arms and get the lean body you really want. We're getting started in just five seconds. Come on, focus. Three, two, one. High plank position, let's start pulling. Pull that dumbbell right across your body. This is an anti-rotation exercise. We're building serious core strength here. Come on, let's pull it all the way across, nice and strong. Shoulders away from your ears. Keep those hips nice and level, torso level as you're doing this. So I don't want it uh, twisting around. Three, two, one. You're a rock star. We've got one last exercise in round number three and you are dominating the lion workout. Uh, we're gonna do speed skaters. Again, if, if for some reason you're unable to do this, you're going to do jumping jacks, but I'd love for you to do speed skaters. You're going to jump from side to side. We're building the lateral strength. We're becoming more athletic. We're Again, we're hitting everything right now, and we're going to build endurance too. So we're starting five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's get after it. Come on. Jump from one side to the other. Nice and strong here. Forcefully. Further. Come on. You can jump further than that. Let's go. One side to the other. Come on, jump as wide as you can here. Nice and strong. Bend those legs and jump. Feel athletic. And make this smooth if you can. And maintain your balance. Come on, five more seconds. We're done with this. End the, end the round. Two, one. We are done with round number three. Absolutely excellent job. This is not an easy workout. And you're doing, you did absolutely incredibly to really focus and push yourself for the full 30 seconds for all the exercises. So well done. We've got a classic. We've got push-ups next. Obviously, after all the work we've done with the dumbbell chest press and the uh, plank DB drag, I mean, this ain't going to be easy. But if it was easy, you wouldn't get results, would you? So this is about getting results and improving your body, which is why we're challenging you. We're going to start with push-ups. You're going to uh, position your body with your arms straight out, abs tight, holding your body off the floor. Hands and arms should be positioned slightly below your shoulders, fingers pointed forwards. You're going to lower your body until your chest is an inch or two above the floor and push your body away from the ground until your arms are about to lock. And then you're going to repeat. We're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for three rounds in two, one. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's finish this workout nice and strong and let's get this amazing muscular pump and workout. Come on. Let's get well over 10 reps here. Come on, you can get 15, 20 reps. Come on. Come on, push them out. Nice and strong here. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. In 10 seconds, I want you to push out even more. We're going for at least 10 reps. You can do this. Come on, if you can't do all 10 reps, you're going to hold the plank position. You're going to hold the high plank position if you can't do all the reps, but I want you going for the 20 seconds. You're not stopping for 20 seconds. 15 more seconds. Come on. Push them out. You're not stopping. You're going to hold the plank. I don't care what you do. You're not stopping. Keep on going. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Last round is coming up soon. Focus. Give me your best shot. And let's get the results you deserve right now. In one second, let's go for it. Come on. Results. Every rep, we're saying results. Results, results, 
Come on. That's the mantra right now. Say it over and over again, every single rep. If you can't do any more reps, you're holding the plank. Come on. Three, two, one. Well done. Excellent job today. Congratulations on pushing yourself, making progress, and improving your body. You can rest for the next minute, just no sitting. Walk around, grab some water, slow down your breathing. We're going to do the cool down next. We're going to be doing the 90-90 stretch, half kneeling stretch, sit and reach, lying T-spine rotation, and child's pose. We're going to be increasing the range of motion of your joints so you can feel more limber and athletic, and you can do even better the next workout. Uh, we're going to be starting in just 20 seconds with the 90-90 stretch. Again, walk around, relax. Take those last couple sips of water because in 10 seconds we're getting on the ground and we're doing the 90-90 stretch. All right, just five seconds, get onto the ground. And we're starting the cool down. Okay, so we're sitting down on the ground, twisting your right leg in front of you and your left leg behind you so that both knees are forming 90 degree angles and you're gonna slowly fold over the front leg. You're not gonna try to push it or force it we're just letting go. If you're unable to breathe slowly and deeply, you gotta back off this stretch. Okay, again, we're not forcing anything, we're just relaxing and letting go. In five seconds, we're gonna to switch to the other leg. Two, one, let's switch to the other leg. We're gonna get that left leg in front and the right leg behind you, forming both 90 degree angles. Maintain steady and deep breathing. We're increasing your hip mobility, loosening the small muscles in your hips and thighs. And this stretch can actually improve your squat depth and lunge form as well. Just breathe and relax. In five seconds, we're gonna to switch to the half kneeling stretch. A few more seconds and let's go to the half kneeling stretch. You're starting the half kneeling stance with your left leg forward, your right knee down on the ground, forming roughly 90 degree angles. And then you're going to push your hips forward while squeezing your right glute until you feel a stretch in the front of your right leg. You can raise your right arm toward the sky to really increase the stretch and just hold it and relax. In five seconds, we're gonna get started with the other side. A couple more seconds. Now let's do the left knee down, right, uh, right leg forward. And we're improving your quadriceps, your hip flexors, um, taking pressure off your low back. We're just opening up the hips. We got 10 more seconds. And just relax into the stretch, okay? No forcing. Five more seconds. We're gonna get on to the sit and reach. So now let's uh, sit down on the ground. You're gonna, with both legs straight, you're gonna bring the bottom of your left foot against your right inner thigh and you're gonna fold over your right leg. And you're gonna hinge from your hips instead of rounding your back too much. As you exhale, you're gonna fold even further onto your right leg without forcing it. Good, breathe deeply. In five seconds, we're gonna go to the other leg. Just hold it, try not to fidget too much. Let's get to the other side. Let's extend that left leg and pull the right foot into your, uh, sorry, the right foot into your left inner thigh. Um, you should not feel any pain, by the way, in your hamstring. If you are, you can just bend the leg slightly, but ideally you wanna keep that left leg completely straight and just relax for increasing your hip, hamstring, and calf flexibility. In five seconds, we're gonna to get to the line T-spine rotation. Okay, beautiful. Let's lay on your right side with your hips and shoulders stacked, knees bent up to 90 degrees, your arms extended straight in front of your chest, palms touching, you're gonna keep your hips stable and reach your left hand behind you as you rotate through your spine. And then you're gonna reach your arms apart like a T as you exhale and just relaxing and sinking into the ground. Eventually, your upper back is gonna be completely flush with the ground. In just a few seconds, we're gonna to get to the other side. Okay, let's do the same thing with the other side. We're gonna be on your left side here with your hips and shoulders stacked. 
You're going to reach with your right arm. And we're just going to sink into it and relax. We're increasing the range, range of motion of your thoracic spine, your shoulders, your chest, and even your hips. We're opening up your body to reveal your real flexibility here. In five seconds, we're going to go to our last exercise of the day, the child's pose. So now you're going to start on your hands and knees in a tabletop position. You're going to sit your hips back towards your heels as far as you comfortably can and extend your arms forward as you relax your head and chest down toward the ground. Okay, And I really just want you to melt into the ground so that your chest starts to fall onto your knees and your thighs and your hips start to fall onto your heels. And we're just melting into the ground. You can also, if you choose, kind of start walking your hands a little bit to one side and the other to stretch out both sides of your torso. Or you can just absolutely chill and relax motionless, which is a very good option. Deep breathing here. I want you to breathe in and out. In five seconds, we're done. And that is it. Amazing job. Congratulations. I'm going to see you in the next workout.